very good evening to one and all present, and we welcome you all at Easy Schooling. So, ma'am, I would like to begin by introducing Easy Schooling at first, and then we begin with you. So, Easy Schooling is a platform, and it is a community of two hundred plus schools, forty five thousand plus parents, and ten thousand plus teachers, in which we are working with the schools to transform their admission process. smartly through artificial intelligence and technology mm -hmm. we aim at solving all parenting related issues like school admission psychology etc so now it would be great ma'am if you can tell us something about yourself yes so hi this is divya sujan uh, parenting coach and counselor so coming to my journey i worked with an it company for 5 years i was a java, java developer there uh, still my delivery and uh, when i was pregnant like the thing was nobody prepared me for what is going to come after delivery like what changes are going to come so uh, uh, like my due to some family issues and due to all the my total anxiousness was about how i am going to deliver and stuff like that nobody told me and also i didn't get any chance to understand what is the changes that's going to happen so once hmm. i became a new then you know every everybody who is you know every person they used to come and give some suggestion or the other and they were myths and superstitions and uh, every kind of suggestion which doesn't have a realistic reason you know every kind of suggestion then i used to get so overwhelmed and so uh, anxious then that was the moment when i started digging into things that what is right and what is wrong what mm -hmm. is the uh, my child and what is not so then uh, was a time i resigned my job and i was into this field of parenting coach oh so uh, yes so now i am really happy with whatever i am doing and the way i am helping other moms and uh, whatever positive appreciation and the positive encouragement positive money i am getting i am really happy with whatever i am doing right now that's so great to hear ma'am so like or let's begin with the topic and the topic for today's session is should a child be taught how to do household chores and uh, ma'am we would begin by asking you few questions so the first question is that what are some chores that children of different age groups should do okay uh, so before we start this i would like to tell that house chores is uh, somehow looked down so yes. let's not call it house chores itself because the house chores that word itself is looked down and maybe because of the society and however the society is but um before starting with this i would like to clarify that house chores or the house activities or the house job whatever we do it mm. is a life skill it is yes. a survival skill more than it it's not just cleaning or it's not just uh cooking or washing or it's more than that yeah so it is and secondly it is not uh, associated with any gender uh, it is not associated with male or female it is essential for a individual yeah yeah so so yes with this note i would like to start so um i would say that there is no specific schedule or curriculum for this age group to do this and then this then this i don't yes. think there is a curriculum but um, initially when my child was 9 months old so uh, i live in a nuclear family and of course my husband used to go to office and i used to manage her alone and it used yes. to be so frustrating because uh, taking care of her and all the house chores um it used to be very frustrating and irritating as well so what i started doing is uh, when my child started to sit properly and stand properly at around 1 year and 1 and a half years of age by then for, uh, whatever i do for example i am washing clothes okay i used to give her a sm small stool to sit in i also like there itself in the washroom itself and i used to give her a small brush and small bucket and a mug and she used to imitate me she used to and yeah. that, from then on i started enjoying what i am doing that frustration levels came down i started yeah. enjoying things with her and mm -hmm. then eventually uh, whenever i am cooking say i make sure she is sitting on the kitchen slab and uh, you know she is observing everything i am doing yeah so 
now now my my now my daughter is 3 years old and uh, she knows what to touch what is hot what is cold yeah. what she can put in mouth what she cannot put in mouth and how a salt tastes how a you know chili powder tastes everything she knows yes, yes. which i didn't knew uh, till maybe 25 years because i oh. never went into kids Okay. So okay. you know, right. this, what I feel is, as a parent, we should give that exposure to kids for every. Let them see every thing that you do, because yeah. if the kitchen slab is here and the child is here and the child doesn't know what you are doing and the child mm-hmm. gets frustrated, you get irritated because you cannot manage the child and the child is constantly getting fussy. So that is not going to work. Yes. As long as the child is observant, the child will not get bored. Yes, ma'am. So true that. That's that's how I started. So basically, as a parent, we should give exposure to everything that we do. Everything, even the toilet yes. cleaning, let them see. Yeah. So that's what yes, I ma'am. believe. That's so true. So, ma'am, since you're saying all of this, and you also mentioned that household goals are basically lifetime skills that we need to acquire. so do you feel that students or children around us should be rewarded or they should be given certain incentives in the beginning of the process so that they learn to do these things and they get a bit they feel a bit appreciated for the same so shall we provide them with certain incentives or there should be no incentives for the same so incentives in the sense of if if we want to award reward them with money say yeah so um this is what i am planning to do i'm just sharing this so for, if if for example a child is 5 or 6 years old and i observe that a child is good at gardening for example anything let it be cycling or anything okay so let it be a gardening so okay. i would ask like can you teach me gardening like can you take my classes if that is the case i'll give you you know this is the fees per day maybe 50 rupees or say 10 rupees whatever the amount may be but yeah. you know when we, even we as adults if we get a task to teach someone we will be more curious to dig into it and different aspects of it and how you know that will enhance my knowledge anyhow so that yeah. is the same case with the kid so and in that process the child will uh, the child self esteem the child self confidence levels goes up yeah you know so in yeah. that and also like whatever money you are giving for instance mm. whatever money you are giving you can uh, ask the child to plan everything the child wants to buy the clothes or toys or ice cream or books or stationery whatever the child wants to uh, buy let it be yeah. from that money let the child okay. understand the uh, like how to spend how to save let the child understand yes and on top of that you can also say that if at all by the end of the month if you are able to mm. save uh, say 100 rupees or uh, say 200 rupees that amount i will put from my pocket into your piggy bank okay. so that yes. will encourage the child to yes. save how to save it but instead if you say that you go get the groceries i'll give you 10 rupees extra or get uh, this one i'll give you give you 20 rupees extra that in that case maybe we are um, you know making the child to be greedy of the money or you know that mm-hmm. is not our uh, intention our intention yes. value of money the expenditures and how to save it and every aspect related to So yes, this is what yes. is uh, my perspective. <laughs> yes, ma'am, we totally agree with you because we have to be very cautious with these things so that the child does not learn something that is not required. For example, the right. emotion of being greedy towards anything. Also, ma'am, can right. you please let us know that what all things does a child learns while doing household chores? Um. See, basically, I believe that. any individual like any individual is able to manage a house okay yes. they are the most intellectual people on earth no yes. i'm serious i'm serious because uh, it's not easy it's not easy to manage and juggle between works it's not easy to remember what is required for the house and it, like for a child see for a child there are many aspects for example the child learns 
we cannot like let's say we all learn okay not only the child let's learn along with the child so we all learn how to live in a house we all learn how to understand each other we all learn how to uh, you know the what are the emotions of other people in the family and how to yeah. deal with them we all yeah. and learn how to le- prepare food with love and whoever is not feeling well for example someone is sick so how to care for them yeah so all these things there are n number of things a child can learn yeah is the only yeah. thing that we as parents should be sensitive towards ourselves and also towards our kids and the life around the kids yes ma'am that's true so ma'am since you are saying that we have to be very cautious towards these things can you also let us know that how do we make sure that the course that we are providing to the children they aren't too extreme or too distracting for them okay so firstly um i would like to answer this with an interesting statistics okay sure so yes. um this sharing of house chores is among the top 3 highest you know issues that is related to successful marriage okay, okay. and surprising thing is that 25% of the marriage couples they divorce because of this chore war because nobody wants to do okay right so yeah it's what i believe it's not it's not about the marriage uh, you know couples or anybody it's as an individual how independent we are hmm. see because uh, it's it's very frustrating for a husband if the husband is not getting food at time yes. on time okay it's very frustrating for a wife if uh, she is not able to get groceries urgent groceries and nobody there at home yes so it gets very frustrating up. yes it's frustrating so as an individual how much are we able to survive independently hmm. that is the question now that you have asked that uh, the does the house chores divert, divert the child you know that's yes. the question right or or so whatever what we are we giving do? them is it too extreme how do we decide that okay so i feel that see maybe for most this is just my personal opinion maybe for other parents it's like um studies or the certificates or the job uh, salary maybe the main core and other things maybe the surrounding all these house chores maybe the surrounding things mm-hmm. but for me this house chores and managing house is the core and other things come surrounding yeah so it's like uh, it's like nobody tells me to clean the vessels and nobody tells me to uh, you know wash my clothes why because mm-hmm. because that is my rest because i know that if i don't have clean clothes i have nothing to wear if i don't have clean dishes i have nothing to eat that yes so nobody tells me similarly yes. we don't have to tell the child what to do we mm-hmm. just have to tell them the consequences because you want the house to clean like you want a clean house because for the hygienic purpose so if we tell the consequences so, so the child automatically will understand this is something mandatory this is not a house chore that i have to do for yeah. someone for mom or for dad no mm-hmm. we are doing for ourselves thank you so much ma'am it was great talking to you and thank you so much for these wonderful suggestions and advice Thank you so much for giving me an opportunity to speak. Thank you. I enjoyed this live. Pleasure is all ours. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Goodbye. Bye. Goodbye. Bye.